within 20 miles of the Wakaiva River system, there are over 2 million people. So it really is a little oasis among the populated areas of Orlando. Behind the Wild and Scenic Rivers Act was to maintain rivers in their natural state for future generations. So by having a national wild and scenic river status, we are really showing our commitment as a community to keep this river in its natural state for perpetuity. This is such a remarkable place. This river is only one out of two wild and scenic rivers in Florida. Now you get in the kayak and head downstream and, and see some of the most pristine wild Florida, you know, the alligators, the turtles, the bald eagles, the, the cranes, just the wildlife in itself is, is just remarkable. What it feels like when I'm in my kayak and I'm just pushing out to get out into the river uh, is excitement. Uh, just pure delight. I just wish more people could experience it. The river system really does offer something for everyone. Whether you just want to swim and cool off or just put your feet in the water, or you like to paint or take pictures, or just find some solitude and relax by the river, or float on the river, or whatever it is that helps you get through your day-to-day -day life. I imagine the river system has some way to help you restore yourself. Someone with little or no outdoor experience actually has lots of opportunities in the Wakava system. On top of the things that you do in or associated with the river, there are dozens of miles of hiking trails that take you close to the river, through the sand hills, through the scrub habitats on numerous different parks. Being a national wild and scenic river kind of puts a spotlight on, on the Wakaiva. I think probably the main way you protect a resource like the Wakaiva River is, is people need to care about it. And probably the best way to do that is, is to get them out on the river, um, especially young folks. Get them out early and, and let them experience some good times on the river. And, and that way they, they, they value it more as, as adults. I just couldn't imagine uh, Central Florida uh, without Wekiva Springs uh, and Kelly Park and Rock Springs. I mean, it's, it's, it's just ingrained in this, this area, this Central Florida area. You know, we need to protect it for not only this generation, next generation, but for future generations. I highly recommend that people come to the river and just sit and listen and watch and listen to the birds and watch the river roll by and and feel the vibration um, you know meditate hum sing dance uh, it's it's all about giving thanks for being alive and you really feel being alive when you're outside I think people are amazed uh, that this exists in Central Florida and that they haven't, if they haven't heard of it before, they're surprised they haven't heard of it. And if they have heard of it before, they're um, kind of wondering why they hadn't come out sooner and explored it. So I think we feel disconnected somehow and we've been told that we're maybe disconnected from nature, but I would say that that is not true, that we're all connected. If you live here, your water is spring water, so we're all involved and invested whether we think we are or not. <laughs>